William, Alison, thanks for having us down. No problem. Um, just tell us where we are and what's behind you. Uh, so we are just situated at just outside Port Rush on the Ballybogie Road and this is the milk hut behind us which we set up in the summer last year. Uh, so we have two vending machines there, one that you can buy your bottle from, your reusable glass bottle and then the second vending machine is our milk dispenser where you can buy a litre of milk or 250ml measure of milk fresh from the farm. Aye, so it's on Chestnut's farm here, this is it's literally coming across the yard into yep. the vending machine. Mm -hmm. The milk so. is pumped from the milking parlour that morning into the pasteuriser, pasteurised, cooled, and uh, transferred into a tank and then pushed across the yard into the milk dispenser. Well, nothing added, nothing taken away. Straight from the cow. Straight from the cow. Wow. And how's it been going? What's the uptake been like on it? It's been going really well. <laughs> Uh, better than we ever thought it would do and um, kind of just we got very over overwhelmed by it all at the start uh, but no it's been going really well the pe people have taken to it uh, like the local people especially like they've been really supportive and and we've got a, a few caravan sites uh, within a few miles and they all seem to really enjoy it during the summer months as well coming up for, to the farm for their milk. We started the, the weekend in July, that I suppose the lockdown lifted. Yeah. So, you know, it was just that road just got crazy because the only place people could go was, you know, within Northern Ireland. Uh, there was not much travelling going on. So, it was then whenever it got to the end of August, we were sort of wondering how much of the custom, because you don't see all the customers, you don't get to chat to them all, but yeah. we wondered how busy it would be in yeah. September. But, like Alison said, it's the, the locals have been, you know, support just, just as much nearly as, 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 the, as the tourists. So it's been really good. So That's that, brilliant. That way. I see you've a, another venture started, that's just today I believe, you have first day. Yeah, we just started it today. So we bought the horse box back in October and uh, got it kitted out with a few few shelves and stuff. So uh, got new signs and everything put on it there yesterday and got the veg in and just started to sell veg today. So it's through an honesty box system, we just yep. ask people to come and um, calculate up whatever they're buying and put it into the honesty box and just f good fresh vegetables yep. from the farm. Yeah, really. that's it, yeah. Your vending machine's just not milk either. I see there's other things on it. In the bottle vending machine, so we have our bottles, obviously, we have fresh eggs, which um, is from our own hens down there. Uh, we have a few products from local uh, food producers along the north coast. So we have uh, hot chocolate spoons from Chocolate Manor in Castle Rock. We have a Causeway Coffee, um, we have a, a wheat and mix wow. from Amazing Grazing, uh, Brighter Gold Oil. Yeah, some seasonal, seasonal pumpkin spice as well, which is yeah. mixed locally, so it's very good, very good. Trying to support all our local so producers. The farming side of it, William, how many cows are you milking here in Chestnut's farm? Uh, I'm milking 260 at the minute, we have uh, five left to calve. So. That should we should be finished calving in February, so very good. That'll be. We'll probably not get much more than two sixty a couple. To. I, th I think from from grassmen perspective, we visited here a long time ago. Uh, it could be 12, 12 years ago maybe. Aye, ah, back for or follow the pipe. Follow the pipe DVD aye. was a bit of it was filmed on here, I believe, wasn't aye. it? Back in the back in the early days. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. they filmed. They they followed the uh, Gamble Brothers. That's right. Contractor. Yeah, so they yeah. followed them. They were filmed it here. A lot of lovely scenery. Aye, they've got some really good shots coming up <laughs> round by the Royal Court. Really yeah. good, really good clip on that. So there's yeah, the yeah. harvester yeah. coming up there. Alison, what your background is in food. Mm -hmm. yep. So you've basically come home to manage this, really. Uh -huh. Is that right? Uh, yeah, so I did a degree in food science. I graduated there in 2012 and worked in the food industry for eight years. Okay. Um, bef uh, just before I came home, I spent five years with a dairy processing company, so which was a great help whenever we were setting I'll this say up. That, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I recently just left work there in September to come home to this full time. So, yeah, it's it's good. Big step. It was a big step, yeah. but um, I don't regret it. You know, it was uh, if I no, if I didn't do it now, I'd, you know, I had to take the chance and see how it would go. And do you know, like, if it if it doesn't work out, I'll always have I'll always 
yeah. just get another job, I'm sure. Oh, no, I think, he's, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> Judging by the yard this morning, anyway, you'll be okay. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. And for, I suppose for somebody concerned about food miles, etc., you know, that's it's very sustainable, this. You know, it's 50 metres across the yard as, as far as that milk travels, and the only really miles that you that's on that milk is what you, you know, what you travel home. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, I suppose, remember we were, this day, this day last year, we actually went to England. Yeah. With the view to, to visiting farms that were doing this in England. Okay. Um, and back then, I suppose, back January last year, it's hard to remember what it was like pre the, the pandemic, I suppose. The, um, the big thing was plastic, single-use plastics. Yes. So we were looking into this, I suppose, with the idea of, of bringing the glass bottle back and, and reusable milk yep. container, so yep. that was whenever we went to, went and looked at, we went and seen, visited four different farms over the space of three days. So yeah. Feels like, a, feels like a lifetime ago now. <laughs> I, I seen there you actually have, were runner up in a diversification award. Yeah, but, we um, entered that competition back in October and found out that we came second there just before Christmas, so that was a nice surprise. Uh, I would say. Um, for a nice Christmas present. Huh? Yeah, yeah, no, it was great. <laughs> Uh, any plans for any further products with the milk or down the lanes? Um. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get the milk out of the cows, that's, that's my area of expertise. Uh, we are looking into uh, yoghurt maybe. Okay. Um, so we're currently working along with Lockery at the minute to develop something um, with our milk, probably more like a natural sort of Greek style yoghurt. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's just still in the very early stages, but hopefully within this year, some point we'll be launching that. That's brilliant. Well guys, look, thanks very much for having us down and I hope we can get a look, you know, a catch up at some time Thank again you. and see how um, things is progressing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Yeah.